Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Oh, look at her go! In our Arctic outpost, ice ice outpost, where we are currently watching a tiny little winter, the wolf pup, as she is running through oh, the snow and the bear berries that are in her little mountain valley. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful, you guys. Look at this. Her mom and dad are going down to the water. Look, they're walking through the water of their new little waterfall and she is just following them. This is so precious. Where is she going? Is she really gonna follow? <gasps> look at her. You guys, this is so cute. This is, oh, look at her little, literal doggy paddling. Literally doggy paddling. Careful there, Winter, I don't want you to get hurt. Let's go see. Oh my gosh, her parents love the water. I had no idea. I would have given them a little water weight earlier if I had known they would love it so much. And look at the way this... Oh, that was so cute! Okay, this is why we have set ourselves up in this tundra, my friends. This is why we have pushed against the ice and snow and cold and sent ourselves out to settle the realm of Ice Ice Outpost. Oh my freaking gosh, the snow is coming down so hard now. Uh, and really transforming our first little village of Shepherd's Nook into quite the winter wonderland. Oh my gosh, I love this place. All I needed to remember how much I love this place was to watch the puppy like play in the water in the snow for a few minutes. I hope that all of our wonderful tourists and guests who have come to Shepherd's Nook and Ice Ice Outpost, Ice Ice Outpost being the whole world, that you can't really see because it's kind of covered in snow right now and shepherd's nook being our first little village uh but i hope all of the guests who have come to visit are appreciating our little puppy as much as i am also oh i think i heard her also that was so fun yesterday to be able to give them Christmas gifts and really spruce up the exhibit as you can see i've changed quite a bit we'll talk about that in just a second and it's really fun to be able to see all of the Christmas trees that we added yesterday to celebrate Christmas too. And I haven't filled out this sign yet, so let's come down to this little cute sign. And let's actually call this uh, the Winter Wonderland tree. There we go. Oh, that barely fits. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never really worked with these signs before. So it's really fun. I guess we'll go ahead and say welcome to the uh, Winter Wonderland welcome, or like, Winter Wonderland, hmm. Yeah, we'll just call this like Winter Wonderland right over here. And then let's actually make it blue, a nice dark blue. And what are all the different, all the texts kind of look the same to me, but we'll go with that one. But there we go, so we made our little winter wonderland to celebrate Christmas yesterday too. And if you guys also celebrated, I hope you had a wonderful day. I know I'm kind of tired from the Christmas rush, but the zoo waits for no one. The care that the animals need throughout all of our planet zoo worlds will not wait for us to uh, recover from the holidays. So we need to get back to work and hopefully continue improving the village today. And I actually think that we need to add in some new animals with the reindeer. So this is supposed to be a reindeer's place for the lumberjack's sled, uh, where they're gonna have the reindeer put in. And right now they have instead had a whole bunch of goats added in, or goats, excuse me, the doll sheep. Sorry, I'm still like recovering from the holidays. It has been so busy with the Christmas season and I'm still kind of like seeing two Christmas trees dancing in front of my eyes nonstop. But we'll get into this. But yes, we moved the doll sheep over here with yarn and her little baby Christmas Joy. A gold level, super healthy, super fertile, super long lived, super immune, like immune, perfect little baby doll sheep because Blanket had grown up and he had wanted to become alpha of his own area. And he should not be... I'm gonna double check, but he should not be related to Yarn, so it's safe for him to be able to be in here with her. 
So that's really fun, but this isn't supposed to be the extra doll sheep area. This is supposed to be where the lumberjacks are able to keep their reindeer. So I could see the lumberjacks being a little put out that they have sheep in here instead. So let's get the lumberjack family some reindeer. Also, it's so dark, oh my gosh. It's so beautiful here. And let's actually maybe light up the village a little bit because it is really hard to see. Oh, look at these cool lights. I love those little glowing lights. Oh my gosh, and I love the way the trees are glowing. That's so fun. I love that the little festive spruce has its own lights. Like I have to decorate with these now. I'm obligated because they're just adorable. All right, yeah, we might have to decorate with a few of those, like, along more of the trails. This is so cute. Maybe even the inside of the shepherd's area. Uh, oh, and maybe put down more of these signs. What I really want to add in, let's see, are some more of the torches that we have got if we're going to be doing some signs. Because we've got these really nice torches. What do you mean, no power? Arctic wall light. Yeah, I don't think that light needs power. Interesting. But I would love to add in more of these torches and the lights kind of scattered through the village. I wonder... I think we could probably do that if we had just a plain wooden post. And speaking of wooden post, we wanted to come over... Since this is the lumberjacks area, we wanted to come over and add in many of these logs to create a bit of a mishmash fencing. There we go. Is this log too small? Okay, we can actually go ahead and get rid of that log then. Oh, I love this beautiful snow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love this village. It's just so lovely. And I love how we've built it up already. But let's carry on. Because I do think that the lumberjacks are a little put out that they don't have their reindeer yet. Especially with the snow being here and some sleds needing to be pulled. And I actually know exactly where we're going to be getting those sleds because Geekism, who does some really great videos and is so kind, I really like him quite a bit, uh, he recently just made a reindeer exhibit that he put up on the Steam Workshop that we're going to go snag because he did all the hard work of building a sled <laughs> and I nearly did backflips. I was like, huzzah, someone else has built that darn sled. So we're going to go see what's, what his design looks like sometime very soon. But you can check it out on the Steam Workshop if you want to grab something sled themed for your Arctic Zoos sooner than that. All right, but let's set this up for our reindeer. In fact, we can probably put down the bigger fencing for the reindeer in just a bit. And I think we're gonna have to enlarge this enclosure now if we are going to add in even more animals. Because I think basically everybody in Shepherd's Nook will have at least a couple sheep. That's just the way it works in these families. <laughs> I mean, I could see that's how like many of their relationships work too. Where they'd, they'd maybe court one another. The people of Shepherd's Nook might practice romance by sheep giving one another their best sheep when they would like to suggest that perhaps they should unite in matrimony. I could totally see that happening. All right, we'll come right up along here. There we go. There. And we'll open this up. Oh, we could even make like a little back garden. <gasps> Yarn! Yarn, you're about to die of old age. Did Christmas Joy grow up? Oh, Yarn! No, Yarn! What about Christmas Joy? She's still a baby! She needs you! She needs her mother! Yarn, hang in there! Oh, 18 years old? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm sad we lost Yarn, but she lived heckin' long time. And I guess this means that we need a couple doll sheep females before I can even get my reindeer in here. All right, so let me grab doll sheep doll sheep there we go let's look for female doll sheep and then oh my gosh doll sheep are going for a ridiculous amount on the market because they're still really hard to get apparently 
All right, well, let's buy a few of these ones. They're not the best for, yeah, they're, they're a little old, but we need to get somebody to come in and share blankets enclosure and also be a, a like foster mom to our poor little orphaned Christmas joy. Also, I need to get the quilts over here. Oh, hey, you guys, I forgot about this little one. This is the first doll sheep we had where we, we couldn't find her again. This is actually her. See, she's zero years old and she was lost to the snows, but we have found our little lost lamb. Oh, I'm so happy about that. All right, let's add her in. And then we'll give these three new names that you guys have actually suggested in just a bit here. I wish they could be healthier for a blanket, but that's okay. All right, and then let's go ahead and grab some reindeer while we're at it. And we'll get going with our first reindeer. Because I think that would be a good dad in too. Well, doll sheep are pretty uncommon, so I might need to remember that. Maybe we could make the village very rich off of just getting a bunch of um, a bunch of doll sheep adopted out. All right, so let's take a peek at the reindeer's Zoopedia before we add them in to help out our lumberjacks by pulling their sleds. They want to be in groups of 3 to 12, and it can be one male and up to 11 females. And there's going to be one dominant male per breeding group. Okay, they live about 17 years. They're mature enough to have babies of their own at five years and will continue to have offspring until they die. They have one offspring at a time. It takes about eight months for that baby to be mature enough to be born. And it, it takes about a year after they have a baby before the females will be ready for more. So they are a social species. They are her species. In the wild, they live in breeding groups of related females. They're young and one unrelated dominant male or in bachelor herds of young males who have not yet acquired a harem of females. So we might be able to make a bachelor herd of up to three to 12. So that'll help. I'm kind of interested about having the reindeer, as I keep mentioning, in a huge herd over here as wild animals, quote unquote, wild animals. So they would probably fight a lot, but maybe they would establish their own dominance over time. And then we could occasionally pull from the wild herds to add in herds to like the sled team families that we would have. Speaking of sled team families, I wonder if we should have like on the opposite side over here, like a family that has some timber wolves that we would call huskies. That would be really fun. Ice Eyes Outpost is, or excuse me, <clears throat> Shepherd's Nook is beginning to grow in really fun directions, if you ask me, guys. All right, so, oh, look at the feeder. That's so cute. I love that. Oh my gosh. There, now Christmas Joy isn't alone. She needed a couple females to like join her. And I think we even have another lamb in here now. Did we add in the other baby lamb? We did. Oh, there she is. She was our little lost lamb. No, that's Christmas Joy. Okay, Christmas Joy is over here. So the little lost lamb is right over here. So this is actually the first lamb that we ever had who got lost. I'm gonna name her Mary after Mary had a little lamb. So this is actually the very first one we ever had and she's the one who went and got lost on us and like spooked us to pieces. So I'm really happy that she's back with us. And let's actually get in, I want some short grass in here because it looks so weird when it pops up through the snow. We'll just have a, a couple patches of long grass over there. All right, so Mary had a little lamb is now in here, which makes me very happy. Let's grab a couple donation bins because we, we, we want people to continue, you know, toss in their donations. Oh, this is so fun. I'm so happy the little lamb is back. We're going to need to add in a few more things for the reindeer, but we'll work on that. And then let's actually copy this Arctic education spot. And we're going to actually make one of these education boards about the reindeer and one of them about... Yeah, one about the reindeer and one about the sheep. But the reindeer are more supposed to talk about, you know, the lumberjacks. This is where they live. And we should put some of this lumber on its side into like a pile. That would be so cool. All right. And I guess they won't have a really great view of these animals, huh? Maybe the lumberjacks could build a little bridge? 
that could kind of come up a little bit to like look over the reindeer. We'll have to play with that. We'll have to play with that. He's gonna have to just do his best. Sorry, buddy. Who's trying to like get some pictures and things. All right, we'll put that there for now. Oh, there's just, I feel like we're really actually living in the rugged outpost of like the Alaskan wilderness or something. Building this up from our own hands because there's just always so much to do on the homestead and I love it. All right, so let's name these other females really quickly who have just come to join us. Let me pull up the names that you guys have suggested in the comments section. Keep it coming because we're going to need a lot more names for everything. So do please keep adding more names in. And right over here, we have some good suggestions of, let's see, thread, which I think, oh, we had yarn. So I could have yarn the second, not her child, uh, yarn, yarn ball, yarn bell. I'm going to name her yarn bell because, you know, maybe she has a little bell around her neck, but we'll go with yarn bell. And then this one is patch, which I think is really, oh, actually this one's cushion. I think Cushion is such a cute name. So Cushion, adorable. And then we have one more that we haven't named properly. Where is she? Let's see. Yarn, Cushion. Did I not add her in? Oh no, we got two females and then we had Mary. Okay. Well, wonderful. We're going to have little lambs in no time. So I need your guys' names for sure. All right. And everybody's excited about the baby lambs as they should be because they're freaking adorable. And let me enter group edit mode. I'm gonna actually remove that. There we go. And then I need to get these reindeer in here in just a second, but I'm just having so much fun with the lambs today. All right, doll sheep. And how do I want them to be fed now? A large food trough? I mean, they probably, they're probably gonna need a large food trough once we add in the reindeer. So let's put this in here. There we go. All right, everybody, you guys hang in there. I'm also going to edit this barrier so that we'll have some glass over here instead so you guys can see the little lamb better because she is precious and adorable, I agree. And let's impress all of these guests with a new animal to see. All right, in we go. Reindeer! All right, let's see if we can find some healthy reindeer. It looks like, oh, 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 that was a really good one. Go, 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 go. We got her. Okay, so we have one female reindeer uh, who's really freaking healthy, so that makes me happy. Okay, this one wouldn't live very long, but she has very high fertility. That one wouldn't live very long at all. All right, $200 for a reindeer? Like, that's practically the, the price of a couple rocks in Planet or Zoo, so that's really exciting. All right, we'll get three female reindeer. And then let's see the best male that we could find right now. Oh dear. There we go. This is actually a really good male. He is not very big. He won't live super long, but he's super healthy and he's going to have many healthy babies. So we'll grab him. All right. And of course, because it was just Christmas, we will have to name him Rudolph. I, I just, I'm going to have to put my foot down. We're going to have to have Rudolph the reindeer to start us off. And then let's grab the females and put them on in with our sheep. Because everybody in this town are going to have at least a small patch of sheep. All right, there we go. Add in this one. There. And they should be coming from the trade center any moment now. Which means new animals for our vets to research. Huzzah, our quilters. Look at him. Whoa, that was so cool. Did you hear him, you guys? Oh, he looks awesome. Look at those points. Look at the size of him. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. And he's got his females being added in. Look at their horns, too. Oh, this is going to be so fun. All right. Welcome, Rudolph. We absolutely have to have Rudolph. He, he's like, yeah, I'm the alpha male of the area. And then let's name the females. I want to have Vixen. And then I want to have Cedar. 
And I'm going to need your guys' help picking more names for all of these animals because they're so beautiful. So we have Vixen and Cedar. And then I want to have, um, I kind of want to name them after like really beautiful berries, like bright alpine berries. Alpine? We'll go with alpine. Oh, look at how, they're really pretty. I can't wait to have just herds of these guys roaming wild in the area. This is going to be so awesome. Oh my gosh, the house is floating. Oh, I can't believe I made the house float. Okay, well, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. Oh, look at everybody. Okay, so what do the root or like what does Rudolph and everyone need? Many guests think our tickets are underpriced. Thank freaking goodness. Let's raise those prices to six dollars then now that we have a few more animals. Uh, but all right, so we need to get some hard shelter in for our reindeer, which shouldn't be a problem at all. And otherwise, they're actually really happy. They have pretty much everything that they could possibly want, uh, other than a little bit of food enrichment. So isn't that nifty? Let's get our quilters working on taking good care of researching these animals. Yay! We're researching. So let's get quilter peaches researching the reindeer. And we have quilter Relly just working on advanced research bonuses. So she's just churning away with that right now. But we'll have her study some of the other diseases too. Oh, look at that. It looks like everybody's getting along fine inside of their little exhibit. <laughs> well, all right, guys. So we have our little lost lamb back, which makes me so happy. And we have also got several reindeer who have now been added in to the lumberjack's yard. Uh, yay! And Yarnbell is about to have more babies! Huzzah! She's expecting offspring! <laughs> Alright, so we have our little lost lamb back. We have reindeer. We're going to be giving them a lot of attention and hopefully some cool sleds. And look at all the guests. They're so excited to see something new. <laughs> Wonderful! The lumberjacks should be happy. They've got their reindeer. Alright, and then we've also got our adorable little wolf pup. Oh, look at them jump across that. That's so awesome! <laughs> Their frozen waterfall, which I actually added a ton to. Oh gosh, I forgot to show you guys how, like, I added a lot to the wolves area. And we'll be checking out our arctic wolves and making them a little cave still. Oh, okay. Gotta do our stretches and wrap up with the Christmas celebrations. And get ready to return to the homestead here out on the wild tundras. Eking out a living and preparing more room for our wild animals to roam. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I need to come over here. And since we did lose another sheep, I need to go ahead before I forget. And we're going to add in yarn so she can have her little, there we go, her little quilt. And then we have yarn's quilt. Oh, I love building up this little town with you guys. Let's make them really, yeah, there we go. That's what I think Yarn would have liked. Like nice, yeah, nice darker colors like that. Oh, that's so pretty. There we go. And the quilts to honor the sheep that have helped to found this town and have apparently entirely vanished from this exhibit. We just have one left. Jacob, you're all alone. <laughs> okay, we'll be fixing that next time too. But thank you guys for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our little lost lamb. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.